Now, I'm going to put in a tree, great big tree here, and it's coming from about there somewhere. It's going off up here. Look, up, up, up. And about the same starting at there. So that'll be the width of the tree. See it? And it goes right up into the sky. Now, I'm mixing burnt umber and some of the blue, and we get these nice branches, see? Off you go, look at that. Won't worry about the snow, we'll get that on it afterwards, he says. There's plenty of time for snow. Now, oftentimes you see people, and they're afraid to go out of the picture. But I can tell you that most pictures are not made or paintings, or scenes, or whatever you want to call them, they're not made just to fit your picture exactly. So it's better to have your picture go out of the time, disappear off out into the, look, into the sky, into the clouds. Now we want to put another big, big branch there. See there? You see, this is the way you do it. Look, and wobble the thing, just a little bit. I'm wobbling the brush, letting it drag it along behind me, and it'll create the branches for me. Now we can put some leaves on this tree a little later on, but there we go. That's our tree. How's that? Done? I've left bits there at the bottom. You see, that? that could be the snow kind of running up the side of it. Because that's what happens, isn't it? Now, there's our tree almost completed. Now we have to put a little hedge row here. Now, I'm just going to take my pencil and do it. Well, I, I tell you what I'll do. I'll use the brush. I'm going to create, a, this is going to be a little walkway here. See, one side is like that. And the other side of the little pathway, believe it or not, would look like this. So one side is almost straight, and one side goes way out like that. And then in the centre, you see, you've just got a few little marks like that. Now we can play around with that now. Okay? So now put that brush away, and let's get to the big fella. So it's some of this, which is the uh, raw sienna, and take some of the brown, which is the burnt umber, and do a little dabbling. See that there? And then we have to make a hedge that goes right across there. I'm going to go across here as well. Little hedge row. It's up and down in the snow. See the snow, you can see through the hedge at times. And then it goes up a little bit higher there because there's a bush there. A bush, a little bush. Now, now we've got to put back that fella there and go back for the smaller fella because we're going to put some darker colour in here now. Just to create a kind of a three dimensional effect. See, that goes there. Now, wait till you see, I, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my nail brush. Have you seen that fella? That's known as a nail brush. <laughs> You've got to clean your nail afterwards, but that's more or less what it is. And the same on this side here. Same thing. And then some of the snow, and that is showing through there. Now a little pathway. It's going right up to there, see that? And the same on the other side. And here and there, we just put a little. Now you see we've, we've put in the general outline of what we want. 
So now we can just clean off our brush there. I'm mean, gonna change the little one now. Put him back into the water. I hope you're following this and I hope you're trying it. It is very, very simple, honestly. There's only one difference between somebody who's never painted and somebody that has, is that the one who's never painted has never enjoyed themselves, I always say. So why not? In fact, um, <laughs> if you don't, they say when you reach 30 years of age, you start to get smaller again. So you go up, 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 and then when you get to 30, down, 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 down. I don't know how far down, but um, quite a bit, I believe. Now, let's, let's have another look at this tree over here. First of all, I think we need to put in some darker shading on one side of the tree. Now we do that by putting out some burnt umber, which we don't have out. You know, it's a crazy thing, but the, the meanest people in the world with paint is artists. Honestly, they just won't put the paint out, and then they wonder why. They don't like to waste it. Yeah, that's not it anyway. Ah, that's it here, yes, I have it. Small writing on these tubes. I'll have to get my manufacturer to put slightly larger print on them. So fellas like me can read them. Now I'm putting a little, a little stake in there because you're going to go through this little pathway and there's another little stake there and there's another little stake there. But when you're doing these little stakes, don't put them all dead straight. Have them going kind of lining like that. You see that? It's a little line through them and then maybe another one. There. Don't put too many either. Don't make it a big liner. Now we can just draw with the brush very lightly. I'm actually using the horizon line as my, my little line, but you don't have to. So now you see back there are the trees in the distance, our tree is here, and this is our